bought a van. This is the van. And this is how I got it. Friends, it's me Jonathan here again with another another video. And this is my dog Luca, our favorite Labrador, and he's joining us here today. <laughs> this video is about how I got to find my van and deciding to buy it and the whole trip to get there where some really bad things happened on the way. So let's get started. So after deciding what change I wanted in my life, I had saved up enough money and I just had to find the right van. That's when I started searching the net to find the, find the one. And luckily for me, I finally found it. Um, it was literally on the other side of uh, Denmark. So it was a six hour drive to get there, but it would be worth it. I arranged the date, I could come and pick it up and I went to bed early to wake up fresh the next morning and go on the trip to pick up my new baby. <laughs> so when I woke up in the morning and if you're wondering why I sleep on the floor, it's called van life practice. I've been working on it for a while now and I also take cold showers to get tough. Oh hell no! <laughs> and I'm trained to only use one pair of underwear. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, maybe. So when I woke up that day, I was feeling two things. I was really, really scared, uh, but also so happy that I'm taking this new step in my life. And I checked out myself in the train and the journey began. Everything was flowing as normal. And I was um, talking to the camera to record this whole experience. And then this happened. I just get goosebumps by thinking of it. A person decided to take his own life by jumping in front of a train. I mean, that's... I can't really get over it. It's like people were walking by and they were changing directions because the picture was so ugly. So the police came and we waited there for two hours and they were trying to clean the whole thing. We, they didn't allow us to get out of the train and eventually they called taxis to uh, drive us to our destination. Like I said, one sad thing is that this person decided to take his own life by suicide. The second thing is that the way he chose to do it, he traveled inside so many other people in that train. Uh, everybody was terrified in the train. Uh, small kids uh, were crying and the the driver of the train was really traumatized and another person came to um, take her place so I was after I got home I was like okay how can I learn something from this horrible experience um, and I was just like because I have had suicidal thoughts before in my life because I've been to really, really dark places in my life and really, really negative thoughts. And at that time, the only thing I was thinking was that nobody really cared about me and nobody could understand me. So I chose not to talk to anybody and just uh, stay in my room uh, in front of a computer and be really lonely, which is the baddest choice you can make uh, after my experience. So what I learned from it is when you're feeling that way, you just have to get your ass up and start doing things. Give yourself a really big kick and start doing something that you know would make you happy before you was depressed. For example, exercise, socialize, uh, go in on an adventure, do something um, productive. And even though you are not feeling it that day, you, sh you should still try it because you have to 
make your mind to focus on something else, something different. Okay, I started meditating, journaling is really, really, really good tools for all these things. But for an immediate relief of what you're feeling right now or later in your life, you have to act. You have to, I know it's hard, I know how it feels. I'm not 100% uh, strong and confident yet, but I'm working on it. I will get there uh, and you should too, you should work on it right now. So when you are getting these negative thoughts, just without even thinking that much, you are just counting down from five, five, four, three, two, one. Get up and do something. Okay, take a cold shower, whatever. Go for a walk. Okay, it will help. But never, really, never stay by yourself in a room uh, because you are getting caught up in a ne negative circle of thoughts that won't get you anywhere. Trust. Me. But the thing is, you should never leave yourself to get to that point. So, contact somebody, contact your friends, talk to your mom, your dad, your sister. Go and talk to, I don't know, animals. Just talk. Get that get the out of your system. Start writing things down, okay? Don't let yourself be get to that situation. Drugs, weed, alcohol, don't do it. It will only make it worse. Um, it's not an escape, it's just an, a fast solution and eventually you will get there and it, it will be even worse than before. Whew. Okay, I, I just felt that I had to talk about this, but let's get back to the trip. I'm about to go and get my van and I'm excited. Okay guys, I just bought a fucking van, I can't believe this. <laughs> So this is my house, this is my new home, uh, I really, this is so overwhelming, I, um, a part of me wanted to believe that I just bought a van, another part of me was so afraid that, oh my god, I can't even describe this, this, this was my dream since I was 15 years old, and now I'm 22, and I did it, I made it, I took the first step, and this is the day I'm gonna change my life forever I'm gonna make some crazy adventures trips and I'm gonna share it with everybody I want to inspire people I want to share this feeling I have right now and make other people f achieve the same feeling I Ama it's amazing I can't really describe this I'm alone and I just wanted to share this with somebody <laughs> I'm so happy I'm I really can can describe how, how grateful I am for this right now and um, now I have five hours five hours drive to to get home so wish me luck I need a coffee I got my coffee I'm waiting for my phone to charge up so I have GPS to get home and I'm just checking out the radio I must say every song sounds good to me right now <laughs> I'm gonna say, if you want to get a van to live adventures, don't be afraid. Just do it. Scrap up the money. I will tell you my story very soon. I went through hard times to get here. And it was so much worth it. So much good things are about to come in the future. And I'm pumped. I'm psyched. Oh, this feels great. I'm finally f I got a boner But I got to pee so much I can't hold myself Oh my god Five minutes more Five minutes Jonathan You can do this Oh my god This is This is really intense oh. Don't be a red light Not a red light Not a red light please Okay we're green here oh. Please be green, please be green. Get green, get green. Oh, the grass is green on the other side. Jonathan is gonna pee like a suicide. Yes, it's green. Oh my God, somebody love me. Somebody loves me. And if you get green too. Oh my God, this is heaven. This is heaven. Oh, I have never been so happy. Okay, come, 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 come. 
come, 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 come. We're so close. Victory. Cheers! <laughs> I think I will end the video here because I'm about to get drunk. Maybe. Okay, just, just wait. I know what you're thinking. This van is the ugliest van you have ever seen. But believe me, my hands can make wonders. Just wait for a really, really special van. See you in the next video. So if you liked my video, please leave a thumbs up. You can subscribe down below. And if you want, you can leave a comment down in the section. Section. Bye. <laughs>